Good morning, Southbridge Tool. I've grown up in the manufacturing business. My father and my uncle started it back in the early 80s, kind of grew up in that. We're accustomed to commercial, military, government contracts. Not running chairs. I happened to meet Dick Hoyt in a uh, grocery store back in 2009, and I just told him, look, if you need anything fixed, we work with metal. A year later, he came into the shop. To me, there was no greater feeling than to completing a chair for a man that was a legend. This is the first uh, chair that we did for Dick and Rick. This chair has been in bronze at the start line. It took us a while to get here. There's been a whole series of upgrades, reworking to get it to this stage. It's just got such a big heart. Shortly after I, I met Dick and Rick, I overheard a woman. She talked about how her son was in a horrible car accident. Let me hook you first. Okay, you're welcome, my brother. I said, excuse me, we could build your son a chair if he'd like. Let's do this, Kyle. I was not a runner. And then sure enough, now years later, we've become this team. Okay, watch your eyes. It's just a good feeling inside knowing that they're appreciated. Dick's passing. Man, it was a shock. I think about him every day. His spirit is with the chairs that we build for so many throughout the world. And our thanks to photojournalist Chris Garvin for bringing that to us. So Michael is the owner of Southbridge Tool and Dud in Dudley. Yes, his race partner who you saw there is Kyle Brodeur. And while they won't be racing Monday, they will be competing locally together this fall. And really, again, a beautiful job there by our Absolutely. Chris Garvin. And another reminder that even though Dick and Rick are not going to be running on Monday, their spirit certainly is in that race.